Hey Capricorns and welcome back to your weekly reading with Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. Alrighty, you guys, I'm recording this early, early, early in the morning. So if my voice sounds a little husky, um, that's why. Because <laughs> it's literally like, I don't know, three or four something in the morning by now. Okay. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What's going on with Capricorns from this Friday to next Friday? For this week, what can they expect? Okay, okay, we have one falling out. Intuition, High Priestess Energy, Firm Foundation. Ooh, what are you building? And vi victory and success, that's what you're building. You're letting go. I feel a letting go with memories of love. You're letting go of anything from your past. It's like a bittersweet feeling. It's like, I love you, but I have to let you go. I care for you, but I have to let you go. I have to let you go. Like, I'm releasing you. This It's a, a bittersweet feeling. It's like when someone releases these candles into the water, it's like, man, like I used to be close to you. I used to have a flame for you. I, like you used to ignite my fire. I used to have passion for you, but now I have to let you go. Like I release you. It's hard, but I release you. There's something like that happening. Yeah, heart chakra. This person was close to your heart. Yeah, you feel this thing. You feel it. You don't even act like, you know, you're all hard and, you know, you don't feel nothing and you're ice cold. You feel this with this person. This one hurts. And it's, you see, spiritual strength. You have to be strong. Yeah, you're having to be strong because this person really is a hard one to let go of. Yeah. Sacral chakra, you were passionate about this person. Wonderful sex. There was great sex between you and this person. Mental conflict. That's, that's what's on your mind is the sex. Yeah, the love making, And even if this person never touched you, you thought about it constantly. Intuition is here. Yeah. See, you're, you're wisening up. It's like, I'm using my intuition. I'm praying. I'm asking God for help. Some of you literally could be going to church. Like, like I'm at church. I'm, I'm trying to get my mind right. I'm trying to get right with God. Like, and I'm trying to get my stability back, firm foundation. I'm trying to be strong again. This person did a number on you. It took a toll on you. Or it's taking its toll on you currently. Victory and success. You're about to step into a new place where you are strong without this person. And you're realizing it now. Okay? Let Wow, that was... That was very straightforward and powerful right now. Like, I felt that energy, Capricorn. Okay. Let's clarify with the tarot deck. Okay. Why is intuition here? Emperor. Emperor. Wow. See, I feel like if this is Aries energy. I feel like you are taking back control. You're using your intuition. You're taking back control of your life. It's like, I'm not going to let anyone control my emotions like that anymore. King of Cups could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah. Why is Firm Foundation here? Whoa. Wow. The, pa uh, the Page of Cups came out. The cards are flying. Firm Foundation. It's like, even if this person never apologizes... It's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. I I have a firm foundation. You may want to talk to this person. You may want to be like, okay, can, can we just have some closure? Okay, can we have closure? That's for some of you. I know not all of you, but some of you want to talk to this person just to get closure of this situation. Maybe this is on your mind next week. Why is victory and success here? Well, something flipped. Two of Wands. Yeah, Two of Wands. I feel like you have a choice to make to go down a path of victory and success. 
you have some type of choice to make. What's the choice about? What is this choice about for Capricorns? What is this choice about? Five of Wands. I feel like you have several suitors coming in. With that Five of Wands, you see all these people like fighting. Someone, someone or some people could be fighting to get your attention. I feel like you're going to have choices. You're going to have options with that Two of Wands. You're going to have options. And whatever you choose, will uh, you will have victory and success. You're about to walk into something very successful. Yeah, look, the full energy is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like a brand new beginning for you. Don't be afraid with that Eight of Swords. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid to take action, Six of Swords. Okay, you're being very cautious with yourself. We have... Um, my own personal deck that I created that I made a lot of different messages on. So let's see what spirit is saying about your situation. Tell me more about the situation for Capricorns. What do they need to hear and know? Give us some more insight. Give us some more insight. Okay. Oh, we have one that flipped over here. BFF, best friend forever. This was someone who was like your friend, your homie, your companion. This was a like a you felt a friend like you had a friend in this person. They could have been a best friend to you. It says I don't have kids like no kids like I don't have any kids. Um, not ready to be a parent. I don't want kids. So, someone someone is not into having children. Take it as it resonates. Not all of these messages will be for you. And if someone is going through some type of debt or financial issues, they're bad at budgeting. Having money issues at this time. They could be self-employed, okay? They don't work a regular job. So that's why I put unemployed at the top. They don't work a nine to five. They could be self-employed, a stay-at-home parent. They could work from home, something like that, okay? And let's get one more. For Capricorns and this person, just some more insight. Some more insight. I need time. I need time. Okay. So this could be you saying this. This could be this person saying this, but someone is saying, I need time. Give me some time. Okay, one more. And then I have my own place to live in. So it's like some somebody needs to know that, that they have their own place to live in. This person also may have trust issues. Will you hurt me? And maybe that's why they, you know, were closed off. That's maybe why you had to move on or decide to walk away from this person. Yeah, someone could have friend zoned you. Maybe, maybe the two of you, maybe y'all were too close as friends, you know, and started, you know treating each other just like homies instead of treating each other having that respect for each other as like you know boyfriend and girlfriend or you know treating that person like your significant other maybe homies and friends got in between this as well maybe too many friends had too many opinions on y'all situations that could be something for someone okay so let's get a cardboard cutout message over here what does Capricorn need to know in this situation with this person? We pulled two. No, I do not want kids. Wow, that came out twice. I I don't want kids. No kids. Ooh, okay. Someone does not, like, for that to come out twice, someone absolutely does not want to build a family at all. And then we have, I lied about my income. Okay, take it as it resonates. Someone lied about their income. Alrighty, you guys, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.